A few weeks ago, after quarantine started, I wasn't doing too well mentally. I missed the lab, my friends, and my regular normal life. But I tend to have my own unique way of stumbling into things. And seeing that in five days, Inside Out is going to be five years old, I wanted to use this opportunity to address these emotions with exploding butterfly cubes. Inside Out talks about the fact that people respond to sadness. I learned that a few years ago when I just started my undergrad education. I was in a similar dark place. I was pretty angry at myself, not knowing why I can't just be normal. I desperately needed to find joy, but I was afraid that I'd be judged and worried that I wouldn't blend in. But I pushed myself and stepped out of my comfort zone and found others like me. Groups of people that were nerds took me in and understood my story. Sadness eventually led me down a path to find some of my best friends and fondest memories. A few weeks ago, history repeated itself. All of a sudden, this virus and the lockdown took away all of my physical connections. This time, however, I wasn't afraid, disgusted, or angry. I looked at sadness in the face and knew what I had to do. I started reaching out to the online communities I was previously a part of, but quickly discovered I was not able to hold conversations that made me feel fulfilled. I tried texting old friends, but the conversations didn't go much beyond just us making sure the other person was doing alright. Slowly but surely, I realized that this might have been harder than I imagined. I definitely started feeling like I was running out of options. While this was all going on, I'd hop onto YouTube once in a while to see if I could discover new videos. And after seeing the stream by Acapella Science in my YouTube recommended feed for a while, I decided to check one out. In it, I discovered he had a Discord server. I hopped on. Little did I know I would find my core online community through this server. These people really turned me around mentally. And several of the community members even know how and where I am broken on the inside. But these conversations only made our connections stronger. After making these connections, I wanted to provide a place where origami enthusiasts can come together and make personal connections, which is why I made a Discord server for this channel. I want to see the origami community come together and maybe work on projects and accomplish things that simply wouldn't have been otherwise. And if you're into music or science, I also do highly encourage you to check out Acapella Science's Discord server. The community there is more established and we do know the regulars by now and have a lot of inside jokes, but we try to be welcoming. If you're feeling down and stuck right now and have gotten to this point in the video, I encourage you to at least check out these two Discord servers. I'd love to meet more origami enthusiasts and get to know you guys. Well, see you guys on the two Discord servers if you decide to join. Links in the description, by the way. And if not, see you guys on the next video. And for me, right now, I have this heck of a mess to clean up. Origami Alice, do 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 do